In this project, the heat transfer process in brake disc is simulated by ANSYS Fluent software. Disc number 2 has a rotating motion with a rotational velocity of approximately 343 rpm. The existing disc have the same temperature equal to 343 Kelvin. Since disc number 1 is stationary, it will cause disc number 2 to slow down and exert friction to it. The laminar model is used to solve fluid flow equations and the energy model is also activated to calculate the temperature distribution inside the computational domain. The geometry of this model is designed and meshed in Gambit software. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured and the total number of elements is 32,000. At the very beginning of the simulation, we should import the mesh file. So from file tab, follow read mesh and then look at the mesh file that you received with the other files and open it at the first place we need to consider some general assumptions for example we have used pressure based solver type because our working fluid is assumed to be an incompressible fluid and also we need to uh, simulate in a steady state form so we have selected steady and also Notice that we have ignored the gravitational effects on our flow. Next, expand the model section and open energy. Activating energy equation, the solver will compute and calculate energy equation as well as the flow equations. And we need that because we want to consider and check the temperature distribution at last. Next, open viscous tab. The fluid regime is considered to be laminar, so just like laminar and fly that. In next place, we should define the working fluids and materials from material section. The air and aluminum is defined by default in the software, but in case there isn't, we can add them from a uh, fluent database. So just open create or edit and then you can find them in Fluent Database. In this window, you can just select the material type, fluid or solid, and then find the air or other uh, desired fluid. And then by clicking on copy, you can have them in here. So I close these windows. And now in the next step, we should apply them to our fluid or solid zones. So I get to cells and condition and as you can see, we have just defined a fluid domain. So I select it and click on the edit button. In this window, just check the material name that should be on air and apply that. And as the last step in setup section, we should define the boundary conditions. You can buy this learning product to obtain a geometry file, mesh file, and a comprehensive training video on how to set up, meaning the pre-processing, solution, processing, and extracting results, which is the post-processing and analysis. After the simulation, the two-dimensional contours of pressure, temperature, velocity, and skin friction are presented. Also, the past lines are depicted. To benefit from Mr. CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcft.com.